Ready for this? Hey guys, how you doing? This is your favorite fat man. We are back out again on three wheels here at the Powerama. We missed Saturday. I apologize, but that that weather, that long drive home, all that snow, shoveling and stuff, did my back in and just locked me up. But we are back out here today, Sunday, the last day for the event. We're going to cruise around. We're going to see what we can do. And we are definitely going to get pictures of cars and... Uh, I'm actually going to see what I can do about getting some interviews and stuff. We'll see about the sound, see how, mu how much we got to cover up and do on that. But we'll do our best. Digger got some shots you probably already saw. And, uh, yeah, it's a good time. I feel better. Thank you so much. Let's get started. Let's get some pictures of cars. For now, model cars. Look, they're they're already all ready for Steve. They're they're getting the cycle warmed up. You already told me it's ready to take me now. <laughs> I got an extra pair of handcuffs in the car just in case. I'm just saying. The question is, why do you have an extra pair? For him. He know he knows why. <laughs> I parked down by the river. Good morning. How you doing, bro? Doing all right. Doing all right. What's up, brother? All right now. Sweet. It's coming along really swell. Really starting to take shape. That's looking awesome. Larry and Andrew are hard at it. We're going to let them continue and stuff. And uh, we're going to try and get around and see if we can get some interviews with folks. Hopefully the sound's working on this. If it's not, I apologize, and uh, you see me miming a lot of words. It's like a bad Japanese movie. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna find some folks to talk, and uh, we're gonna see what we can do. I'm Thomas Galt, Middletown, Ohio. I have a 1931 Ford Model A pickup truck that uh, there was only 8,282 of these built. Uh, by the Bud Corporation Ford, for Ford Motor Company. And uh, it was restored to this condition in 2011. The previous owner and his wife restored it themselves for seven years. They bought it in 2004 and finished in 2011. It only has 1,706 miles on it when I purchased it in November of 23. So this truck um, is all steel. The roof is all steel. The bed of the truck bed here is all steel. Um, it's just been a super nice truck. Absolutely. It was in 1931 purchased by the Hershey company and uh, had on the logo on the side of the truck. Oh yeah. Okay, sorry. Uh, where it had Hershey Chocolate Corporation on the side of the door. Sweet. I have contacted Hershey Archives and they have sent me, I purchased a copy of the image of that logo. They cannot give me permission right. 
but I can do whatever I want with the image. Yeah. And it will be painted on these doors in April. Sweet, excellent. And it is going to be a very, very nice vehicle. Oh, it's, it's beautiful it's now. It's beautiful now, brother. And, and I am so thankful that you've put forth the effort to save it, get the provenance and have it all done up because brother, we're losing them all. And as rare yeah. as this one is, we can't this, afford to not. You just wonder how many are left in this original condition. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, it's just it's a sweet purchase. Yeah. Now, if you want to go to the next one, yeah, that's what we'll do. Okay. Let me get a few shots of this and we'll okay. check out the next one. This is 1929 Model A Super Deluxe Coupe. Um, I purchased it in April of last year, 2023 and uh, you bought it off a used car lot in Columbus, Ohio. And uh, I went up to look at it to, because I had negotiated a price and I went up there, they couldn't get it started so I did not hear it run. I wouldn't have known how to drive it because I've never driven one or I didn't know how to start it either. Right. So uh, I said, I shook the fender and I didn't hear it rattle and roll. So I said, okay, it's solid, I'll take it. So we purchased it. And uh, when we signed the papers, the sales guy says, we lost money on this deal. And they admitted later that they had had it on the lot for 16 months. Wow. So I was grateful in purchasing. Now, as you will see, it's in memory of my late wife, right. Dora. And uh, so she passed away in December of 22. I um, chose to sell her car that she had, which was a 2018 RAV4. And I was able to purchase this car plus a 16 foot by eight and a half enclosed insulated trailer. There you go. To haul this in. So I haul both of these individually. And uh, so this one, uh, a former owner contacted me and knew that this was restored to this condition in 1979. So it's been well maintained, yep. garage kept Beautiful. for all these years. So uh, I think it only has 13,000 miles on it since it was restored in 79. Yeah. Uh, it's got a rumble seat. And uh, like I say, the cow lights determined in 1929, it was a super deluxe coupe, more used by businessmen. Yeah. So um, this one here um, with the orange wheels is what distinguishes it from any other, as yeah. far as I'm concerned. My wife was a avid Bengals fan and she would have absolutely loved this car. Yeah. She would love to come to car shows. Yes, yeah, stripe and everything. Yes. And talking about the stripe, I went to the Gilmore Museum garage to drop off another one I had. Mm -hmm. And they had one of these sitting outside their garage, painted the same color and had the orange pinstripe. And it only has 5,000 original verified miles so I know that this is an original color and the stripe is the same as it used to be. Now it didn't have orange wheels, Yeah. but uh, that's the only real modification to this yeah. vehicle. Um, so this one uh, we have named Dora and in her memory. And uh, last year from May through October, I'd say, I took it to 22 car shows. Yeah, I've seen it out at a few of them. That's why I was glad and you were here so I could actually stop this time that's, that's and, and get the information. And it won 15 trophies out of 22 car shows. Yeah. Excellent. So it's a very nice. Oh, it's, it's and, and immaculate. It's, the it the really two is. of them, I don't know how you choose which is the best. Well, I like the truck. I do too. But 
but this it would, one's got I understand. The yeah, I understand the whole the but whole thing behind it and everything, the sentiment and, the, and so it, it's I believe, difficult. I believe that she looked down and said, "You need this vehicle," and yeah. she blessed me at all the car shows every day. And said, right. "Hey, so totally honored to have this one and that one." Uh, because it's just a delight. Oh, absolutely. And, uh, I'm so glad, like I said, that I got to see you again and actually it. got to take this time and stuff so we can document this, get a little bit of history down and stuff like that. And I appreciate it. And uh, I pray for many more, many more years of car shows for you, brother. I greatly do. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. I appreciate it. All righty. I just purchased, and uh, this is all the tools of 429. Right. And uh, so. You ready? Yep. Hi, my name is Kyle Hester Carter. Uh, this is my 1970 GTO. Um, backstory on it uh, I restored this car, or helped restore this car, with a dear friend of mine, uh, John Kokera. Um, sadly, March of last year, he passed away, but he left me the car. So it's a numbers matching 404 speed that's been turned into a 462 stroker. Uh, the M20 Muncie case has been converted to a uh, M22 rock crusher. Uh, it dynoed at 547 horse with 603 foot-pounds of torque. Um, I've only done a few little things to it since I got it. John had a 14-inch Rally 2 up front. Um, I opted to put a 15-inch up there. It's also got a 15 by 8 Rally 2 in the back that we custom, or he had custom made, I should say. Um, that's really about it. No, you tell me about the love you got for this, brother, and, and oh, the deep meaning. Yeah, I, this thing is, you know, I've got four Pontiacs, but this is, this is the one that, that'll never go anywhere. I, you know, when I met John, I was 18, and uh, I guess he decided then and there that this was going to be mine, and I didn't, so he, it's funny how he asked, he used to call me every Wednesday at 8 o'clock, and it was a normal conversation as always. You know, he always started a conversation, hey, how's it going? That was John's thing. Well, 15 minutes in, we were talking about battle bots as we always did. He's like, so what do you want when I die? He's like, how do you answer this question? Yeah. You can't. Well, see, that's a that's a true brother. That's, yeah. that's deeper than family. That's a true yeah, brother. That was, so I'm like, John, I don't know how to answer this question. And he's like, well, I want you to have the green GTO. Are you okay with that? Well, I'm like, I, I mean, yes, but I don't know what to say. He's like, you don't have to say anything. Thank you for being you. And that was it. I never brought it up again. I didn't think about it once. You know, I helped. he had 15 cars. So, and then when it happened, it, it, it's still emotional for me to talk about. But, you know, here it is, and I'll cherish this one forever. I appreciate that, brother. Thank, thank hey, you so no, much. Thank you. Love you, man. I really Love do. You too, it's, 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 it's family. And like I said, it's deeper than family. It's oh, yeah. brother, you know? Yeah. And you just don't you don't get that too much anymore. And I'm glad to see someone of your age. It's not a put down. Yeah. Someone of your age recognize, understand, and keep this going. Yeah. Because we're, as you know, we're not going to be here all that. I know, and that's you what's know. sad. You know, John in 20, well, he died what 2023. I had four friends pass away. You know, there were I met through, right, the, the, the car, car community, community. and yeah. it just it it hurts. Yeah. It's deep. Like I said, it's it's deeper than family. Yeah. It's it's what we do. And it Absolutely. gives us our enjoyment. I do appreciate it. Hey, I appreciate you well, giving me the interview. I'm just a fat man rolling around <laughs> with a camera on a stick. Best fat man with a camera on a stick I know. <laughs> <laughs> Your favorite anyway, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Thank you. Hi, my name is Vern Cook. This is my 1989 Firebird Formula. I bought this car brand new in 1989. I sold it in 1994 uh, like an idiot. And I spent 26 years looking for it. Uh, I had kept the, uh, the title and the window sticker, so I had the VIN number to it. And I kind of searched and searched, and three years ago, I found it in a barn outside of Greenville, completely destroyed. Uh, it had been vandalized, wrecked, and then left for dead in a field. So I was able to buy the car back and did a complete nut and bolt restoration on it. Uh, Moore's Body Shop in Xenia did the body work and paint, and then I did everything else on the car, the interior, the motor, and all the detail work, and unveiled it three years ago in, in June. So this is, my, this is my pride and joy, and I'll never sell it again.
Thank you, brother. Thank you so much for saving it, all right? Oh, I, you're and, welcome. And I know we always have that retrospective thing. All the motorcycles, all the cars I ever got rid of, yep. I kick myself every day. Yep. So everybody in here's got that, that you, story. Right. Take the money that you think that you would, you know, make off of them, invest in stuff, yeah. and just get a bigger building. Exactly. All right. <laughs> Love you, brother. Thank you so much. Thank you, Don. I appreciate it. Morning. Um, my name's Craig Palmer. I'm from Clio, Michigan, about 280 miles north of here, and uh, talk about my car a little bit. This was bought brand new in December of 2017 on my 67th birthday, and uh, it's gone through quite a transformation over the years. I've still got more parts coming, but uh, the car was essentially just stock white with silver rims. There's a picture of it here on this board that's right behind me. And uh, pretty much everything has been touched, changed, modified, uh, st custom striping, custom uh, interior, custom uh, hood, uh, engine trim. There's uh, everything that's in the engine bay is all uh, custom cut stainless steel. And uh, the uh, Lamborghini doors were only put on like three weeks ago. So this is the first car show that I've been to with the uh, Lamborghini doors. Excellent. Um, Did you do any mechanical stuff? Uh, the, not that the motor needed anything, but. No, the drivetrain is completely stock. I'm, I'm not a speed freak of any kind, so uh, I don't need more speed at. You're already there. <laughs> Well, at 460 horses, and it's stock. Yeah. It's, it still has enough get up and go for me. So I'm 73 years old now, so it's, that's enough. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's been a project. And I've got parts in the body shop being painted right now for more add-ons. Um, the car will be in uh, Pigeon Forge uh, on the 14th and 15th of March. Uh, so that's where it'll be next at an indoor car show there. Thank you, brother. I, I greatly appreciate it. Thank it's you. Really nice, sweet job. Thank you. Hi, Billy Bush. We own the Dodge Challenger that we've named Slimer. We started out with a 2015 Dodge Challenger RT in sublime green. And the wife decided that she wanted to theme it. So she themed it Ghostbusters because of the color. So we've added murals from Ghostbusters 1 and 2, so all the airbrush work you see. We've added vertical doors to the car, changed the wheels, added tons of LED lighting with underglow and in the wheels. And it has custom interior. In the trunk, we added an Xbox system with a 32-inch TV and we have screen accurate props. Most of the time we run around with cosplay groups, the Ghostbusters, so we mostly stay around the Cincinnati Ghostbusters. You can find them on Facebook at Cincinnati Ghostbusters, or you can find information on the car. Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok are all Slimer Challenger, all one word. If you'd like to go in and see more pictures and videos that we post throughout going to shows and events and charity events and so on. All right, sweet. Thank you, brother. I uh -huh. appreciate it. How you doing? My name's Rick Least. I have a 2012 Dodge Charger. I bought it to uh, make it my daily car, and I ended up turning it into the yellow M&M character. So it's now mainly a show car. I give out uh, free M&Ms to all the kids. Uh, it's got the 392 Hemi in it. It's putting 480 horses to the wheels. If the car could talk, I would probably be staying in jail right now. I've had a lot of fun in it. I've enjoyed every minute of it. I hope you all enjoy watching the videos of it and everything. I, do, I like having fun with it. Thank you, brother. And I gotta keep straight, right? Hello, I'm Steve Coltice, and I'm here with our 1922. He can't do it straight. I folks. can't do he it cannot. straight. 
just do it. <laughs> uh, this is our jet that we redone back in the late 90s. Um, we got it, I think it was late 90s and rebuilt it and everything. This was when I was working at the uh, Ohio Air National Guard in Springfield. And there was a bunch of us, Wayne Spriegel done a lot on it. It's just our plane and I just keep it for history. Yeah. And but if they need any air from information on the Air National Guard. Oh yeah, if you want any information on the Air National Guard, check it out on airnationalguard.com. And I'm not sure if that's a real site, but. Check it out <laughs> anyway. <laughs> There's, the nice thing is, is for any kids or anything else that's thinking about it, think about it, talk to the recruiters, and at least take advantage of the 100% tuition that they pay for your college and like that. Right. Uh, even if you don't want to stay in for a career, there's four years right there that'll save you a lot of money. A lot of money. And they, they want people with, with that education, hence the reason why they, and it's not just the Air National Guard, but the Army National Guard still follows the yeah, same. Yeah, but you learned a lot there. Oh yeah, I, I learned a lot. a lot. When we redone this, I was actually in the parachute shop, and we'd stay after work and work on it, but from Egress, working on ejection seats, to corrosion, to sheet metal shop, to welding shop, parachute shop, life support, and last three years it was in finance. That's so that's something you can't do when you're in the uh, regular military. You have one career field most of the time and that's it. With the National Guard, if you want to go to another career field, they'll pay for your school and everything and you can actually change things up a little bit if you're not really happy with what career field you chose the first time plus the fact that you get to choose that career field and it it's been really beneficial in your job that you do now your own business oh yeah I, what you learned there you've transferred over to the big blue barn even even uh cutting out decals yeah uh with our 3m machine and right, stuff we had the there's a bunch system, learning all the software the cad programs the, yeah. yeah and your and your flame cutter Oh yeah, yep. Plasma. Um, a lot of the stuff I kind of knew growing up anyway. Right. It's just like me being well, in the parachute Well, because your dad, shop. the history with your dad. Well, and my mom, yeah. when it come to sewing and doing parachutes, yeah. if I wanted anything on my varsity jacket, she made me sew it on. Right. But in turn, that made it easier when I converted and went to the parachute shop. And that was fun. We made everything you could think of. Well, tell them how to get a hold of you through the big blue barn. Uh, just look it up on Facebook, Triple B. Uh, I do a lot of the trophies and stuff for a lot local, of the trophies. local shows and trophies, like that. panels, cutouts, special mm -hmm. special event stuff. You do a lot of the signs for organizations and military uh, groups and, and stay out really busy on, especially military. Yeah, but uh, I appreciate but we're talking you. about the plane. No, this we're is, talking about things that fly around and, in the air, and, and that's Lieutenant pretty much you, Lieutenant Colonel Dan. Colonel Dan? Yeah. I thought it was Captain Dan. No. Well, he's got to be a Lieutenant Colonel, but he ain't got no legs. Oh. You know what, Steve? I love you, but you ain't right, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, brother. All right, man. <laughs> I'll tell you, Wayne done a lot on that. And Ryan Tegmeyer. This is my 1969 Chevrolet Nova that I built. I was 13 years old and I just finished it last week. How old are you now? I'm, I'll be 18 next month. There you go. I, I got this car when I, my first car, I wanted it to be a 1969 big block super sport Camaro. My dad said, that's in the barn, see what you can do with it. And he gave it to me and it was, it was originally frost green. It was a six cylinder car, power glide. And uh, I took it all apart and had it painted. and. I put a 3D8 stroker motor in it with aluminum heads and stuff on it. And, um, it's got a turbo 350 in it with the shift kit. Um, What's the paint couple? that's on it? Uh, it's called Blue Me Away Metallic. Yeah, that's sweet paint. Yeah, it's actually a water-based paint. Um, Boyd Knotts down in Cincinnati, Ohio did it. But I mean, other than that, I mean, it's, it was a pretty solid car when I got it, other than just, I put half quarters on it. and. Uh, I replaced the bottoms of the fenders, they were bubbling a little bit. Uh -huh. But other than that, it was a pretty solid car when I got it. Um, you know, I, I painted my calipers to match the color of the car. Yeah, what are those rims? 
Uh, they're actually a company out of Bowling Green, Kentucky. They're made made in America. They're called RC Components. Yeah, those are sweet rims. Mm -hmm. I yeah. like those. I like those. They remind me so much of some of the spoked rims we used to run at Kill Care and mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah, and then like what's so cool about this car, I did a lot of different stuff to it. So like if the front rims on it are 17 inches and the rears are 15s, I staggered my wheels. Right. So I did something that was very different, you know, for this day and age. Yeah. So, and then like there's a couple other different things I did. Like I painted my front glance panel blue to match the car and I painted my engine compartment and um, I painted my fan, it's blue. How's the interior? The interior was okay. Um, it had a crack in the back seat, and then it had a crack in the front seat, and I actually just had it replaced. I put two new seat covers from Dewey's Auto Trim. Yeah. I had him do it. Um, but most of the interior I did myself. I put the carpet in it. Is that um, the original top? No, I had it replaced. Okay. I sanded the top down myself and had the top put on. Um, and I sanded the engine compartment down myself and prepped it to be painted. Excellent. So. Everything, yeah. everything you see on this car, I did except paint it. Yeah, I love, I love it, brother. I, I, I appreciate someone, and it's not a bad thing. Someone of your age mm -hmm. taking the time to keep something alive um, and pass it along and keep people in it. Mm -hmm. it. It means a lot to us older guys that that it's going to continue on with somebody that has the love for it. Well, I'm a third generation hot rodder in my family. Oh, my I grandpa know. started the trend. Yeah, so. I know, I know. <laughs> so, and I appreciate, it, brother. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. My name is Phil Boyer, and this is a 66 Chevy Chevelle. Uh, we bought it three years ago, and we've uh, put all new suspension under it and new fuel tank. It's got a 427 four-speed. Um, we had uh, Pat Craft and Rat Pack Dayton, Ohio, do the uh, body and paint work on it. and. Uh, How's the interior? Interior's been been all redone. It's got a new headliner. It's got new new seats. Um, they've been recovered. Um, new floor mats. Um, what color paint is that? What do they call that? That's Candy Brandy Wine. Is yeah. the paint color? It's uh, House of Color. Is the brand. Um, it's over a silver base, so that gives you a nice uh, metallic shine or luster underneath the, the paint. Tell me about the group. The Rat Pack group's been around for a very long time. Uh, it's probably 70s for sure. Yep. And uh, used to see him at Carl Casper's car show all the time. And uh, went there with my dad. Now they can, uh, they can check him out on Facebook? Yes, uh, Rat Pack Dayton, Ohio, uh, Facebook. Uh, you check out the cars, some of the legendary cars that were from that group uh, all the way up till now. Yeah, tremendous amount of history. Oh, yes. Tremendous amount of history. Yeah, I just, remember. I'm just touching the tip of the iceberg yeah, late, with, with... Late 60s, early 70s at Kill Care, remembering all the guys. Yep. So, yeah, there's a lot of history there. So I, I got involved when I was probably uh, t between 12 and 14, seeing the cars sit out on Woodman, seeing them cruising around the area and then seeing him at Carl Casper's and then my dad worked with a, a guy that was a brother-in-law with Pat at the time so I got to ride in his Chevy Monza oh my and uh, that car went after they were done painting it it went straight from the garage to Carl Casper's and won best paint that year so sweet. it was a really sweet car candy apple red had some really cool stripes on it well, thank you, brother. I, I greatly appreciate you and the group um, keeping it alive, being out there. I see you all the time out. It's it's awesome treat to actually roll in and see anybody from the Rat Pack out. Awesome. I'm glad to be a part of it. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Thank you for Go Rider, and thank you for everything you do. Oh, thank you. Much Mr. appreciated. Like I said, a fat man with a camera on a stick. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing what I can. No problem. Now you know. Well, now I know. <laughs> Nice. 
Hello, my name's Melissa Crafton. This is my mom's truck, Patty Crafton. She's owned it since 1992. It's a 91 Chevy truck. All the body mods have been done on it. There's no body lines on the truck and it's been lowered and it has old um, Boy Coddington wheels, got a Boy Coddington grill on it. She used to drive it daily, now it sits in the garage. We just take it out on cruises. Well, that's beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank I you. greatly appreciate it. Thanks.